Today I say goodbye to one of the few, one of the few living beings who love me more than anything in the entire world. My boy Banshee. He would want to be with me so much that he'd plow over anybody who was in his way just to be by me. Banshee didn't come from a good life. He came from life on the end of a chain. What a he spent pretty six boy years on this chain waiting for somebody to come, for some ball to play with, for anything. Notice the white on him like Molly. Yeah. rescue he suffered with such severe separation anxiety that he made me crazy and he served as the impetus for me to write scream like banshee 209 days of tips and tales to save your sanity as a doggy foster parent he almost lost his life during the writing of that book due to a separation anxiety but thank god in the end we managed to save him I soon discovered that the one thing he loved almost as much as his mama was fetching the ball. And not just fetching the ball on land, but fetching the ball in the water more than anything in the world. He never did get a home in the two and a half years he was here, but neither one of us cared. We loved each other and that was good enough for us. But then came the day he was diagnosed with lung cancer. That was only about a month and a half ago and he went downhill fast. I was determined we'd take one more trip to our favorite place. My puppy boy. One more time. Nine. Oh, boy. My shit is on the work. Oh, oh, no. It's all right. Doesn't matter. It's okay, baby. It's all right. I'm gonna get the car. He's trying to work on him. He's hard to It's okay, baby. But then he made it happen. That's the kind of dog he was. He was going to get that ball for the last time, and he was not letting his body stop him. <laughs>